And on our phone right now is Captain Jenks. He was up to a lot of hijinks last, last, uh, I guess, when when did you do this? Gafu. Crash the border car. Yeah, when did you do this? Uh, the, 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 I, I called CNN the day of the earthquake. In Mexico. And, uh, actually, it was California. Oh, California's yeah. uh, earthquake. Yeah. And uh, I told them that quake, I was on the scene. Yeah, that's right. Mexico didn't have an earthquake. Right. They had a sewer explosion. I was up to a lot of hard... Oh, good morning, Robin. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Well, I, I noticed some mornings you keep silent up until about uh, five minutes or six minutes into the show. I noticed that. So that I should have talked during the commercials? No, I mean, you know, when we, when we come on and we sign on in the morning, you say, hey, everybody, how you doing? You know. I don't want to interrupt you. Really? You could interrupt me. Interrupting me. <laughs> Tomorrow. No, sometimes I think you're making like a big debut. I think you have a game plan in mind. <laughs> wait, let everyone wait for your... Uh... I wait till there's a need. I got you. Well, you know, in a way, that's smart. <laughs> if a need never came up, I'd never say a word. Right. <laughs> so, um, all right, let me hear this. You called CNN. Yes, during, during the middle of an, an earthquake, and I told them that I was in the town where the earthquake was. Oh, no. So oh, good. So they were asking you for a first-hand report, weren't they? Yes. All right, very good. Go ahead. Okay, Darcy Kenner, thank you very much for your time. We now go to Tom Marcus and Petrolia. Petrolia, Tom, uh, evidently one of the uh, harder hit areas. Do you see any damage there? Yes, hello? Yes, go ahead, Tom. Yes, it was terrible. I looked and I saw the big explosion, and, and it was just terrible. I was seeing dreams in Howard Stern. Uh, tell me about the explosion. Howard Stern. Okay, uh, we're going we're gonna to take a break, and uh, we're updating our top story. Yeah. yeah. I'm not saying you should, but you know, uh, I was watching. I was watching. Um, uh, what the heck's the name of her show? Uh, the woman, uh, Sonia Friedman show. Yeah. She takes live phone calls too. Yes, I've brutalized her, Howard. Oh. <laughs> what are you uh, suggesting things? See, see, see I, oh, I usually don't call you up with with uh, calls on from Sonia because I'm so disgusting to her on the phone. Really? Yeah. You use dirty words. But, well, um, not really dirty words, but I but I just use a lot of double entendre, say. Really? Yeah. Well, you have to play those for me sometime. I have. Some of them. Oh, all right. I didn't realize that. Well, that old woman turns me on, you know how. Yeah, well, and then there's another, uh, what was I watching the other day that was live? Well, of course, Donahue, but, oh, you know what other you day? Can't, I can't even tell when Donahue's live anymore. Well, the only way I can figure it out is they, um, they flash the number up on the screen. Yeah. Because for the rerun, or if it's not, if it's delayed, they never have the phone number. So if they're flashing the phone number up, that's the only way you know. That's not often anymore, though. Yeah. That's and Donna Hughes saying her. But, yeah. Right. And uh, the 1 other... 1-800-PHONE-PHONE. Sh- the other show that's live is uh, Jane. You ever seen that one on Fox? That's live? Yeah. Jane? Jane, yeah. Never heard of that. I'll have to look into that. I don't know if you get it in Philly. Jane. Yeah, I don't know how far she's gone yet. It doesn't yeah. even matter if I don't pick it up in Philly. I have eyes in New York, I I got you. You're a brilliant man, Jenks. All right, what else you got for us? I also, the Eagles will be broadcast on WYSP this season. And they're having the Eagles announcers do a live call-in show on Sunday night for draft choices. And I phoned in. Let me hear that. All right, Bill, thanks a lot. Let's go to a call from Tom in Roxborough. Hi, Tom. Hi, gentlemen. How do you feel about the Eagles being broadcast on the same station as legendary Howard Stern? We are we are happy to be on WYSP, and uh, it's a terrific radio station, and uh, Howard Stern is certainly one of the most uh, successful broadcast personalities in the country, so that's going to be the title of my uh, biography. No, Howard Eagles Stern, like Murrow, that? and me. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, we were thinking of sending him to the locker room, Tom, for some Tom. post-game reporting. That would sound good. Okay, okay Tom. Any, any football-related topics, Tom? No, no, I don't even... As like long as you don't mention Larry King, too, we'll be all right, too. That'll okay. be okay. Okay. All right, thanks. All right. Yes, Tom. Very, very, very good. Uh, speaking with you, looking forward to it on the first last of the WYLV. I'm Howard Stone. That, that, that's uh, Merle Reese, Howard. Who's that? It's Merle Reese. He's like he's like the Phil Rizzuto of yes. this area. Yes, Merle Reese here with you, commenting on Howard's door. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> How do guys talk like that for five hours? That's not real, you know. That's just not that's that's pushing your voice to the limits. 
Uh, we're here at WYSP for the first game of the season, and everything is looking good. Ooh. Boy, the sports guys kill me with that uh, voice they put on. That's an amazing voice. And WYSP, it's very good to be a part of the season on Howard Stern. <laughs> okay. What makes a radio station great? What do you mean? You know, they always say, this is a great radio station. This is a great radio station. <laughs> WYSP is a great radio station? What, what's so great about it? <laughs> <laughs> what's happening there? Well, you know, the guys are just trying to be... We're all trying to be one big happy family. <laughs> I understand. Yes, it. now it's Michael Tierson on WYSP. I heard him yesterday talking about how he liked being on the station so much. Yeah, well... Sure changed his tune quickly. Sure, they all do. For the almighty buck... Thank you, uh, Captain Jenks. They throw that Hi, uh, John DeBella, and I hate voicemail as much as you do. So, you right. to... Thank you. He starts playing all that stuff he's got. But they get very familiar with their callers, those sports guys. Tom, 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 all over the place. Yeah, hi, Tom. Uh, how are you? Give us a call. Well, what they do is their screener gives them the name of the guy. Uh, Tom. Hi, hi Tom. Tom. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. Try and do that. Seriously. Hi, Tom. Uh, Hi, Robin. Uh, good to be with you this morning. We're uh, here uh, full of broadcasting the Philadelphia Eagles. Have you ever heard the word morning said? Morning. Uh, <laughs> it's good to be with you this morning. <laughs> I've never quite heard it pronounced that way. <laughs> it's good to be with you this morning, uh, Robin. you can't let go of that word. Yeah, oh. okay, well, morning. Uh, morning. Uh, I don't know, man. I hate dish jockeys. <laughs> I don't think I have one friend who's a dish jockey.